you are healed. 1 Peter 2.24 Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. Time is difficult to understand. Scientists tell us that time is relative, just something that seems real to us. The Bible indicates God is outside of time. God created time so he is not confined to it. Can we easily comprehend this? No. When a human makes a statement that is not true at this present moment in time, we call it a lie not the truth. But when God says something that does not seem to be true at this moment, we cannot accuse him of telling a lie because God is not limited to our time frame. Also, we do not know everything. Having said all that, the Bible clearly says that you are healed. Isaiah 53 verses 4 to 5 Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases, yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. So you have a choice. You can look at it from your perspective and say, That is not true. I am not healed. Or you can view the situation from God's perspective, and because of your faith in him, agree with what he said. Which choice is best? As you decide your answer, remember to include eternity in your evaluation. Pleasing God by accepting his word can bring benefits to you after this life. Here is one way of understanding all this. God made provision for everyone to be healed. That provision must be received by faith by believing and acting on what God has said in his word. Humans have a choice. Believe God's word and resist anything that would try to steal their health, or let their feelings and circumstances control them. If you disagree with all this, let's not argue or fight. That will not help anyone. But remember, the Bible will still say what it says. Matthew 8, 16-17 when evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed. And he cast out the spirits with a word, and healed all who were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. God made provision for your healing, but the devil tries to steal it away from you. Here is the bottom line. We do not understand everything. God does. Since God loves us, it seems best to trust in him instead of trusting in our own limited understanding. So, I choose to believe and say what God says, whether I understand it or not. Say this. The Bible says I am healed. I choose to agree with what God has said in the Bible.